While we are now honoring some of our other brave men and women, there is one man whose legacy will never be forgotten. And every year, our nation remembers James Alexander George McCartney. Michelle Farrington reports. Today in the Turks and Caicos Islands, we celebrate National Heroes Day. This is a day set apart to honor the life and legacy of James Alexander George Smith McCartney, the Turks and Caicos' only national hero. He was a man who was instrumental in the establishment of the ministerial form of self-internal government in the islands. Arnold McCartney lost his life on May 9, 1980, in a plane crash over New Jersey. Since then, the last Monday in the month of May has been recognized as National Heroes Day. The People's Democratic Movement hosted their fifth annual National Heroes Day celebrations at their headquarters today in Providenciales, commemorating the memories of a great leader under the theme, One People, One Country, Unity is Strength. The late Robert Bob Mastermani sang wholeheartedly about love and unity. One of his most famous songs, One Love, One Heart, Let's Get Together and Feel Alright. It is because of this love and passion for unity. Why we are here today to remember and celebrate the life and legacy of our national hero. Uh, we are honoring our first and only national hero at this time on the books here in the Turks and Caicos Island, the Honorable McCartney. Every year for the last five years, our party has, and has been doing this ceremony to, to honor the life and the legacy of Honorable McCartney. That was Chairman of the People's Democratic Movement, Sean Malcolm, on National Heroes Day. The Honorable McCartney started the Junkanoo Club, a forum where young people could discuss issues and socialize in general. This movement started the PDM in 1975. Events would follow the after ceremony. Following the ceremony today, we will be having a fun day. And this is for the whole family. So um, this includes do a domino tournament as well as a tug of war tournament. And we've got um, some very nice trophies for second and third place. Schools across Providenciales were invited to participate in a song and poetry competition. There were excellent pieces and great performances. Ten-year-old Kadisha Delancey of the Ianthi Pratt Primary School shared a few lines of her poetry with us. Today I salute the Seward man, our first chief minister, our brother, our friend. We will all agree that he was the best. Now we have the confidence to continue the rest. In the end, the Una Capron Primary School walked away with first place for the song competition. Here they are now singing their winning piece. It's a part of history that